So you're asking how it works with HomeKit and pretty much works the same as, as Hugh does with HomeKit. You, you get a light that appears in the menu and you type in the HomeKit code or you scan the HomeKit code on the back of the controller. Yeah, it's just come up as a light and all I do is press, press on and off, pretty much. Living room aura, 100%. Brightness control, drag it down, whatever. And there's a color option down here in the corner. There's some presets and stuff that you can edit. This is like standard HomeKit things. So on most lights, you just get to choose the color and it works really well. There's like a color selection wheel and you can add them all into place. So yeah, it's like really standard. Hey Siri, turn my Aurora to blue. Your wish is my command, voila, blue. Fair enough. Turn the Aurora to hot pink. Hot pink, coming right up. It's actually really fast. I, this is faster than my hue lights change color, to be honest. I'm going to pull up the app on my phone and see what the scenes are called and see if I can activate any of the scenes. So the Nanoleaf app on Android is kind of, kind of plain. It's functional, but not pretty. Um, you get all the same options with being able to turn it off and it also, just to note, the Aurora turns off in a really awesome way. <laughs> um, but yeah, you get a similar color wheel on Android. So here are some of the, the default scenes. So I'm going to try and see if I can get Siri to pick up some of that. I don't know if it's going to work. Turn on color burst on Aurora. Sorry, I don't understand. The nope. Activate the scene forest. Hmm, I don't... Activate forest on Aurora. Sorry, I don't understand. Change my Aurora to romantic. Sorry, that's not something I can do. Change the scene to the northern lights on Aurora. Hmm, I don't know that one. Hmm. So as far as I can gather from the website, you can just tell it what color to be. Um, it just says, ask Siri to set your Aurora to blue. It doesn't give you any scene information. There is a video actually. I can link this video so you guys have it. <laughs> yeah. So after checking the website, um, I found out that you can only control the brightness and color of the Aurora using Siri. So that's kind of sucky. Um, you can still pair it with your living room or whatever and turn everything off. So that kind of gives you a bit of global control, but you can't activate the scenes that are present on the app. But I don't know. You can you can set on the uh, control unit this itself at the bottom. You can just pre-assign a scene to one of the buttons. So at least you have a way to turn it on if you're kind of walking past it. But I don't know. That's kind of sucky, isn't it? Turn off the living room lights. I've sent the message to the light. Turn on the living room lights. So yeah, it can be integrated with rooms in, in HomeKit, which is nice. Um, and you just get basic rudimentary color and brightness controls, but you can't access the scenes that are present on the iOS and Android apps, which is a shame. Well, pretty much it just integrates with HomeKit the same way Philips Hue does, so that's pretty much it. Kind of limited, but still works essentially. Where's Siri gone? I can't find any music in your library. I don't ask for music. <laughs> what a doofus. I don't really ever use Siri, but... Turn off the lights. I've sent the message to the lights, but some of them seem uninterested. <laughs> 